Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rumble Tournament. We're closer to the second round, um, but this is part 7, so we still have part 8 to go and then we'll be in the Elite 8. And this one's going to be Transylvania versus Darkness. And look who we're starting off with. One of my favorites. One of my favorites, Omega. And, um... Yeah, Transylvania versus Robert or Darkness. Um, I'm going to call Transylvania T in this, and I'm going to call, because I'm going to say their name a lot, and I'm going to just go with Darkness. Um, but these two, it's going to be a good one. It's definitely going to be a good one. And we got all kinds of characters from all different places. As you can see, here comes the One Punch Man himself. Um,. Yeah, this one is going to have a lot of different people. You're going to see celebrities. You're going to see cartoons. You're going to see um, AEW people. There's quite a few in this one. So we'll see how this plays out. And as they're eliminated, I will tell you what team they were a part of. And number three is the Cowardly Lion. Ugh. I'm not a fan of this character. So, I don't know. When I was a kid, I did not like the Wizard of Oz. And I, I'm sure it's great. But watching it as a kid, I was scared of the Wicked Witch. I'm not scared of the witch anymore, obviously, because I watch stuff like Jigsaw and Terrifier. But, you know, when I was a kid, she freaked me out. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I didn't like the lion. I didn't like the lion anyway. He's my least favorite if I had to pick between the three. He's definitely my least favorite, and the Tin Man would have to be my favorite of the three. Um, and Tony Hawk is here. Of course, Tony Hawk was a big part of my childhood. Um, uh, Underground 2, I believe. Uh, Pro Skater was another big one, and Omega's been eliminated. So that is a loss for T. So one loss there. And Dean is number five. Dean Winchester coming in at number five. And I'm still, you know, I'm still, I'm getting over. I'm, Probably by the time you see this, I I, I no longer have the issue. But um, I'm getting over this like cold or I don't know if it's cold or bad allergies. Have you you know? So um, yeah, but the show must go on. You know, and people have told me, uh, what are you gonna do when you're in the hospital bed? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully by then I'm you know I'm not gonna be doing this. But um, who knows? Shakespeare's number six. I'll find a way. I'll escape the hospital and still do it. Shakespeare coming in at number six. Um, I'm not a fan of Shakespeare at all. Never have been. <clears throat> There's a couple people that I, I just don't like in history. and He's one of them. He's definitely one. There's a bunch of people I don't like in history just because I don't like them. It has nothing to do with what they did or what they've done or, you know. I just don't like them. And he's one of them. You know, I, I do have a theory about him, though. Um, but I just don't like him in general. I didn't like him in English class. I didn't like reading any of his stuff. I like reading Edgar Allan Poe. And what kills me is people like Edgar Allan Poe um, he never got to see, you know, how great his work was. Um, and Tony Hawk's been eliminated, so that's a loss for Darkness. Yeah, so, I, I don't know the whole story with Shakespeare. There's something that I didn't like about him, about how he did his work. Um, 
I don't know if it was other people's work or there's something to do with it. I, I, I forget the exact thing. That and I didn't like le reading his stuff in, in English class. So, but with Edgar Allan Poe, I mean, oh, he had so much fun reading his stuff, especially that one about that that guy's eye. That was a that was a great one. Edgar Allan Poe was just psychotic. He was just kind of like the first guy in the horror genre. I want to say that Shakespeare, I, I don't want to say this without knowing for sure, but I thought there was theories that he may have stole his work. But I didn't like reading his stuff anyway. And I, I think I ended up getting like a bad grade on one of his things, and I just never forgave the guy. Um, so, I need to be nice. I need to be nice. I need to bury the hatchet. But, you know, it's, it's more fun this way. It's more fun being a hater. So. Hey, but look on the bright side. He gets he gets to be on here. So. Naruto's here. And Sting's here. We've only had uh, two eliminations so far. In this. But I love having these people from history in here, like Sun Tzu, like Shakespeare. Um, you know, especially when they're not, like, presidents and stuff like that. And there goes Rain. So Rain has been eliminated. And that's a loss for Darkness. Got Tuco in here as well. I'll try to cough off the mic, so that way I don't blow out everyone's eardrums. And Shakespeare, oh my, he made it. Sting tried to eliminate him, and it didn't work. And the Cowardly Lion eliminates Dean Winchester. So, Dean Winchester's been eliminated, and that's a loss for T. And there goes William Shakespeare. That's going to be another loss for T. Number 11 is Trey Young. Like I said, anybody's going to show up here. Anybody's going to show up. Uh, expect the unexpected. With this one especially. There's definitely some trends of some AEW guys, but uh, besides that, yeah, it's a little bit of everybody. And Mr. Popo is number 12. Mr. Popo. I like old Mr. Popo. I wonder where they get some of these ideas from. I mean, I, I know obviously what the, you know, the craziness that comes with creativity. Trust me. If anyone knows that I do. But what am, why am I even asking? They're just overly creative. That's where they got it from. And Tuco and One Punch Man are finished. And that's going to be two losses for T. So not a great start for him. 
MJF is here. And look at Trey Young. He's been eliminated. And that's another loss for T. And there goes Mr. Popo. And that's going to be a loss for Darkness. MJF stays in, though. Steam tried to get rid of him. And uh, the guy from Naruto. We got another one here from Naruto here. I've never watched an episode of Naruto in my life. I just, I don't think I would like it. But if I had to choose, that guy would probably be my favorite character because he just looks awesome. Um, but I have never seen an episode of that in my life. Brian Danielson is number 15. Um, yeah, and there goes Naruto. Oh, that's a loss for T, so he's already up to like seven. Darkness has lost a few. Um, it could still be anyone's game. And Butthead is number 16. From Beavis and Butthead. Never seen an episode of that either. So, yeah, I know. Crazy. Why am I even saying this out loud? It's just, you know, definitely gonna... Definitely gonna raise some eyebrows. That's for sure. I've never seen Naruto or Beavis and Butthead. I don't think I would like either one of them, to be honest. I just... And... Yeah, that guy's number 17. I'm not going to say that one. And for once, I can admit that 2K did their job right and put the asterisk where it was definitely needed. I'll give 2K credit this time. I'll give 2K credit here. Usually they put asterisk just to put asterisk, you know, to... Um, because they think a word sense a word um, is profane, and it turns out it's not even profane. Like Doctor Doom, they put asterisks on Doom. They put asterisks on um, Kanye. They put asterisks on uh, what else? All kinds of stuff they have done. I'm trying to think. Bane, the character Bane. Um, this one, I can't argue this one. I, I just can't. And it'd be like it, they would cover the whole thing, you know? Since they covered the whole thing on, like, Bane. It's like, and there goes the Cowardly Lion. So, that's a loss there for Darkness. And there goes Butthead. Another loss for Darkness. And you know what? I gave Rocksteady Seamus' moves. I thought that would be funny. Since I think he plays Rocksteady in the movie, I, th I thought that would be funny to give him Seamus' moves.
And look at that double team. Oh, wow. And Malachi Black is number 19. And there goes the guy from Naruto. And there goes Sting. And there goes this other guy. I'm not going to say his name. And that's two losses for Darkness. And what a comeback we've seen um, here. Yeah, what a name for a villain. I mean, talk about a name. That's probably one of the craziest names I've ever seen a villain have. And Will Offspray is here. I, I think Will's really a really talented wrestler. I really do. And there goes Brian Danielson. And that's a loss for T. And Mars Attacks is number 21. This is the alien from Mars Attacks, the movie. It's, a, it's an all right movie. I always thought what fascinated me growing up was the cover of the DVD. I thought it was the most fascinating cover ever. If you've ever seen the cover of that DVD, it's just amazing. And the movie's all right. I mean, it's pretty good. It's probably a 7 out of 10 type of movie for me. But that cover of that movie, is like a hundred out of ten. It is probably one of the greatest DVD covers. As soon every time I see it in a store, I just lock eyes with it because it's just crazy. I mean, growing up as a kid, I used to see it and I was like, "What in the world is this?" Now, when you look up the DVD cover, it may not be the same one I'm talking about. So. Um, there goes Osprey and MJF. And one loss for Darkness, one loss for T. Transylvania. And Stan is number 23. Look at Spalding beating the tar out of Stan. Goodness. Spalding's just taking everyone on. He don't care. And Frankenstein is number 24. And Shane Zhu is number 25. Frankenstein, I, I loved it how he was on Transylvania's team. Um, he likes a lot of the classic horror, which who can blame him? It's some great stuff. Uh, but I thought it was just, it just cracked me up that he, he got on the team. So that was cool. Um, and Rocksteady has been eliminated, and that is a loss for darkness and Diaru is number 26 he he gets a lot of crap for not being a good Mortal Kombat character but he's alright he's not the worst I mean people don't like him it's like what did he ever do to you all
People act like he smacked their mother or something. He didn't do nothing. The guy's innocent. They just say, oh, he's so generic. I don't, I don't think he's generic. I think he looks kind of cool. I'll take up for Diary. And Shane Zhu has been eliminated. I could care less about him. He's a jerk. Um, and that's a loss for T. So he's down to five. We got Tokyo Goal here. And LeVar Ball is number 28. Number 28 is LeVar Ball. Very controversial NBA dad. And oh man, what a slam there. And Frankenstein going after Spalding. It's a little horror match up there. And there goes Mars attack. So he's finished. So much for that. And that's going to be a loss for Darkness. And Bam is here, my... My, I'm telling you, Bam is the best. He's one of my favorites. I am a Heat fan. I don't know how the series is going to turn out as of right now. Because uh, game two is going on right now. Um, but Bam is the man. Um, I like him and Butler. Those are my two favorites on the team. And Lavar's in trouble, and uh oh, Lavar versus Captain Spalding. Look at that spine buster from LeVar Ball. I like LeVar. I mean, I'm, I know a lot of people don't, but I like people that make people angry. And, like, when he says, I can beat Jordan and stuff, I think it's just hilarious. And I obviously he can't beat Jordan, but I'm not a fan of Jordan. So I think it's hilarious. It's the funniest thing I have ever heard in my life. When he says stuff like that. And Krillin's here. And Dairu has been eliminated. That's going to be a loss for... I'm trying to see I, I'm trying to remember if Malachi was here I guess he got eliminated and I just missed him so darkness is only down to a couple Danes are not looking good for him. I'll go back and look to make sure, but I, I may have just missed Malachi. May have just gone into the zone. And that's a loss there for um, Darkness. I missed a couple of his. Missed the guy from Naruto, too. Yeah, I think Malachi was here. If not, I, I'll have to redo it, obviously.
Yeah, I'm just hoping and praying he was. If, if you see this, he obviously was. I just don't remember him. Uh-oh, Krillin has been eliminated. So, that's all of Darkness's people. And he has been eliminated from the tournament. I'll go back and look for Malachi. Um, I'm hoping, you know, no offense to Darkness, but I'm hoping he's there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to redo it. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I missed him. Because I missed a couple of Darkness. I, I missed when... Uh, the guy from Naruto got eliminated, or I didn't mark it, one of the two. So we're down to three, and Transylvania has already won. He didn't start off well, but he ended up coming back and winning the thing. So that was kind of cool. I mean, at one point he had like seven out within like maybe the first half of this. And uh, it wasn't looking good for him, but he made a big comeback. Of course, I will go back and check for Malachi, but if you see this, obviously, he was in it. I just don't recall. I probably wasn't paying attention, though. But everybody else that I've marked, um, I didn't even mark Spalding. Yeah, I'm just not paying attention. And I'll tell you why. I'm looking at a chat, too. So, um, I'm trying to do two things at once, and I need to focus on this. My problem is I tried to be the jack of all traits, and you should never do that, because that means you're not great at one thing. So... And LeVar Ball is going to get Chokeslam out of here. And he is finished. And we are down to two. Talk about a D David versus Goliath type of matchup. And of course, LeVar was a loss for Transylvania, who's already won the thing. And he's got two remaining here. One of these two will not go to WrestleMania. Frankenstein is in trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. I did not see that one coming. And Frankenstein's been eliminated and Tokyo Ghoul wins. And it looks like instead of pointing at the sign, he's going to crawl on the mat. Which, that's acceptable. But just don't point at the sign. And he looks like he knows, he knows the drill. So that's a good thing. More of these people are learning, you know, it, it takes a little while to get used to the fact that you're not going to WrestleMania. And it looks like this guy has figured it out. So congratulations to get him. Give him a, a standing ovation for knowing better. Knowing that he is not worthy of WrestleMania. So anyway, he, I mean, he's a ghoul. That's his first problem. Um, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a excellent one. Um, I'll go back and make sure Malachi Black is in it. I hope he is. Oh my goodness. If I have to redo this, obviously you won't see it. Um, but yeah. I don't even recall him. But at the same time, I didn't pay attention to about five minutes. Five to ten minutes of this whole thing. I just, you know, just said a bunch of things, apparently. But anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all later. And it looks like Transylvania is going to move to the next level. He is going to the Elite Eight. I'll see you all later.